Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Coming live from Five Your Heart, Children of God. So I wanted to share a few things. I like to do this right after I wake up, just shortly after. Good and puffy looking, and my skin's all blotchy from... Oh, well, I went to a march in Washington, D.C., and ever since, and then stuff that happened at Brentwood, my skin just got destroyed on my face. But we got to get some tomatoes that could go soon, so I'm going to be making salsa again. And I did something that I've never done before, but it is kind of throwing me because I'm used to refried beans. And then I'm going to try to share this, uh, this ready hour. Uh, it was the first time we sampled it as of recent. So what I did is I did not have refried beans. So I, I had a can of black beans, just a regular, not a huge size. <clears throat> Now, I do have the magic bullet, but this is technically our second magic bullet, and I think it broke while I was doing this. So what I did is I did about this many onions. I would say two or three I did. I don't remember. And I did one of these little ones. I drained like half of the, the beans, but it's going to be throwing me. But it would kind of be fun in a way because it's like more festive instead of just the brown refried. It actually, they turned out looking purple. Once I blended them in the magic bullet and then I simmered them on the stove. They're pretty good. I just tasted it off the spoon, but these are from John's mom. And I think it's cute because we never realized they match my friend's mandala. She put glitter on it too. I've had it some years now, so these match with this. And I'm probably not going to change this out for a long time because this is an old panel over brick. And there's a bunch of crazy town behind here. And then there's tile. John said there's floor tile up. He leveled the stove, but we technically have to pull this out. And then I have this thing. It's like a copper I don't think I don't have enough, but we can go to another store, a uh, hardware somewhere and find a copper. Then the copper would match better. And then maybe I'd put it up there. He wants to still think we could get some of these bricks out. And then even if they're broken, maybe I could just mix them together with like half, try to do a half on them. Cause we have the smaller leftover. And then this, I didn't do a full cleanup yet. And then I'm not sure I have got to get into all that, but, um, so we would take this down or put it down there more and then put the, like a copper color here. And so that's about it. I wanted to do a quick reading. This actually is good. It just would throw someone if they're used to refried, but the purple's even prettier. And then that's for the tostada. So <clears throat> I was pretty impressed with this. Excuse the area here. Um, let's see here. The only thing that I would say is there's the one chemical, but obviously like there's even bioengineered is this is, this is for when, you know, you're in, you're in a real bind. I normally order, order from Patriot supply, uh, during holiday area times. She always has the end of the season discounts. And once you kind of get in with them, there's always wonderful discounts. Like this was probably where if I bought more than one of these, the, the wheat bread is, then it would be, uh, it was highly discounted. Now I did notice a lot of her prices went up and that would be, and then this was about how it turned out. Now I've not, uh, needed dough in quite some time. Um, it was very tasty. Um, the only thing for me is, um, there was the, f the, 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 the one like, but it would be to probably help it preserve it longer and that it also has bleached. So it would, it has the whole wheat list the vitamins, but then the bleached. Yeah. Yeah. I do, uh, stuff from distillery. Uh, it's wheat. I stick with wheat. I don't do rye with my, um, elixir. Um, so why does she even talk about stuff that's healthy? Well, I mean, just because I have the one problem, does that mean that I wouldn't want to try to eat decent? 
we'd gotten off the rails a bit there at Brentwood, so we're trying to get wrapped back up here. We're not drinking out of any tin. I was addicted to the Arizona energy. I actually found when there was colds and stuff going around, and I had about half of a can. I felt a lot better, and I didn't know if it was because this Cassandra berry or what, but I, I just know that. I swore it got me out of so many binds, but there's corn syrup and stuff. Now, the only other thing that I would have with this is kids are going to love this. Okay. And people that love food are going to love it. Now the honey powder is down here and then the cane sugar and then the sugar. Well, that would make sense if we've got honey powder, cane sugar, honey sugar. It's really sweet. I'm not going to say how much me and John ate, but, uh, it's really good, and it actually does then a recipe for honey wheat cinnamon rolls. Are they saying add more? I Quite frankly, I wouldn't add, me, myself, and I, I wouldn't add much more sugar. I wouldn't. Because if you're going to do the frosting, but that's just me. That's just me. Um... I was really impressed. I, I was, I'm really impressed with how the loaf turned out. I did the one loaf that was 3.5 cups of the, the mix and then warm water. And something you always want to remember is when, you know, when you got all this stuff, if, if something goes haywire and what, what are you going to do? What you going to do? And they, when there ain't no food, um, you also always want to have, you always want to have extra can openers. I think that's something that all of us can forget. Um, we've been in where, well, heck, you can barely find one that's made good anymore. So the one season she had, I ain't going to be able to find it now. Well, yeah, and you want to have it where you know where it is. Um, <clears throat> is it's these uh, little, It's these are portable. These are a little bit difficult to deal with, though. But if you have it available... It is carbon steel blade, it's no lie. It probably works better than, you know, something else you'd have. So I wanted to do a reading. I haven't done a reading in a while, but I, I did. At the same time, I don't want to do a reading. And I just get like that sometimes because I'm not really a minister. I'm just here to, you know, encourage you to find God. And um, I got to get my snack going. So we are going to try. And I've got like a lid, a plastic lid. I got to go through all the lids and find out why there's why do we have all these lids again where's the containers like i don't understand that mm, that's why very rarely i would buy like tupperware of any sort because like i mean there's these two but i just get them at like a little carry out or my one friend works like those are nice these are nice sometimes i'll just reuse the whatever we get these were actually cool. This is just if you're just a couple of you here. If you got kids and a bunch of people, you gotta feed. But I've got like where's like 500 lids. I we've only been here like seven months. February I can't really count February. February I was here, but we weren't like here here. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, seven months. Uh, this was really good. Like I said though, if you tend to be a a foodie. Maybe she has one that's a little less sweet. Because, man, once you put the butter on it, and it's kind of warm. Okay. <laughs> oh, I had Ecclesiastes. We were going to do the yogi teas, but did we do the yogi? I had saved these from Brentwood. Yeah, things have changed a bit for us. And <laughs> we're not at the yogi tea anymore. I'm, <laughs> I'm at this tea. <laughs> the throwing the phone around tea uh golden tip actually it's pretty good i don't know if that's showing it it's it's actually good tea i probably don't want to know where new jersey we'll just it should be fine okay no i get the yogi because it's fun i like these tags uh, trust your identity, be in touch with your reality. Did we do these? I might've did these another day, but I might've not posted that video. Breathe in peace and breathe out blessings to all. The brightness of your being is generated from within. 
the purpose of life is to know yourself, love yourself, trust yourself, and be yourself. I wouldn't say that's the purpose of life, but it's, it's a part of it. In order to be remembered, leave nothing behind but love. That's nice. Let your enemy be used to build, not destroy. Oh my God. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Let your energy be used to build, not destroy. That's cool. It's the same on the order of let your energy create good things and beauty and, and things other than to, to break people down. Trust creates peace. Yeah, that's true. Uh, your strength is shared when you are present for others. Yeah. It's a lot of them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, for trappers. Love is the ultimate law of life. Yes. Relate to your greatness and not to your weakness. That's a tough one, ain't it? If you're that type, if you're that type that has a hard time, you know, wondering why you make so many blunders. Okay. Find your unity and your service to all, but within reason. If you're a doormat and you're doing everything for everyone else, you're not doing proper self-care. And for us to be efficient with God, we have to have a certain level of self-care. Be guided. Listen to the whispers of the universe. In my instance, it would be, be guided. Listen to the whispers of God, creator. Your breath fills you with energy anywhere, anytime you need it. Smiling is the most basic kind of peace work. Aww. Unity is a way of grace and harmony. All right. Oh, see, now I got excited there, but it's, that's going to be, I ain't going to want to read all that. Oh, is that that one submit to authority where it was misinterpreted with another scripture where it strictly states that if the government, I used to take that, the verse to these churches I had gone to. I wonder where they calling me in. Like I would show them the verse that said, if they're not following God's commands that we are to question them and um, hold them accountable, uh, not let it get out of hand. Goodness. That was over 20 years ago. Oh my God. 30 years ago. I don't know if there was those lists back then. Probably. Oh, enjoy life while you have it. Now I know I've heard these things before though, where they say, Oh, that's not, that was not real wine. Were you there? Were you there back with Jesus? No, we weren't. And someone was saying they were upset because they were depicting him as somewhat of a drunk or something on that. I didn't watch that, that sitcom or the series on Jesus. I, I was concerned. Um, all right. So enjoy life while you have it. Verse 7 of 9 of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes is almost smack dab. If you have a King James without a bunch of extra reference pages, reference pages, pages or chorus glossary, it's almost literally right in the middle. That's one way to easy. And this is, Ecclesiastes is a great, to me, and I, this was taught to me. Proverbs and Ecclesiastes give you wonderful ideas on how to live, but some of it can be taken extreme. So we're going to look at verse 7 of 9 because I wanted to get into the value of wisdom and wisdom's characteristics, chapter 10. And then when something kind of jumps out at me like a gnat that just flew by, <laughs> I took the compost out. <laughs> so... Wisdom related, you know, we should do Ecclesiastes. I won't though. 
And then chapter, the first part of chapter nine, judgment comes to all men and women. You can just say men and women, okay. Enjoy life while you have it, verse 7 of 9 of Ecclesiastes. Go thy way, eat thy bread with joy, and drink thy wine with merry heart. <laughs> That's not meaning like be a drunk. Okay? <laughs> drunk is someone that wakes up. In most instances, there's functioning drunks. There's different. So I want you to tell me why you think that that means it's not real wine. Because if it wasn't, if it wasn't really wine, wine, a little bit of spin on the wine, a little relaxing uh, properties, then why would it, wouldn't it just say, go thy way, eat thy bread with joy and drink thy wine with a merry heart for God now accepteth thy works. Because when you drink, if you don't drink a lot of wine, it kind of warms your... <sighs> Let thy garments be always white and let the head lack no ointment, meaning try to always look decent, if, especially if you're out and about. It'd be one thing if you're just working in in, a, in something that's uh, at home. You still don't want to be completely, you know, um, I get certain clothes I wear and I just like them and I, I know that I need to mend them and then I start mending them and it's like, what are you doing? Like I only wear a few things on my videos because of uh, camera issues and it keeps me less distracted. I have more than a few shirts, but <clears throat> okay. So just always at least pay heed to, you know, that you don't smell like a goat and things like that. Uh, verse nine, live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of thy life of thy vanity, which he has given thee under the sun. All the days of the vanity, for this is the portion, this is thy portion in this life, and in the labor which thou takest under the sun. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with the do it with thy might, for there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither that goest. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. Just looking up a quick reference. Said B, 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 B. Verse 11. First Samuel's, it just says for Samuel 6 9. For man also knoweth not his time as the flashes that are taken in an evil net, meaning we don't know when we'll be taken. We might feel like we might know, or God will give us those moments where we're like, you know, maybe just be a little more careful today. Don't go on the side of the house if your heart's saying it's not safe so that some flukish event occurs and your husband and you're having to pick small metal and debris out of your face last August, those kinds of things. But meaning when it's really our final hour, we don't know. We don't know. And um, some may have a little bit of an instinct about it with God, kind of like supernatural abilities. And there are those people. Uh, but most of those people, if they're truly have these special spiritual gifts with God, they were already, um, they would have been, their lives would be almost virtually destroyed. Meaning if they're not following, uh, if they're following through creator, God, Jesus Christ, and their, their spiritual aptitude is at a very high level. Uh, they were already, uh, labeled, stalked, harassed, and most likely full out destroyed. I'm not saying all, but the powers that run this world would not want the authentic, the authentics of God with those gifts out wandering around helping people for free or whatever. For man also knoweth not his time as the flat fishes that are taken in an evil net and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it 
fall is suddenly upon them. Those purple, ref look purplish refried beans I made, well, black beans, um, are smelling really delicious, so we need to roll this out. I'll get my tostadas out. Mm. So, <clears throat> value of wisdom, verse 13. The wisdom, this is still chapter 9. The wisdom have I seen also unto the, under the sun. And it seemed great unto them. There was a little city and few men within it, and there came a great king against it, and besieged it, and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city, yet no man remembered that same poor man. Then said I, Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. Did you catch that? As that's important. So look that over on your own. It's the deception of wealth where a person just seemingly charismatic, handsome, gorgeous, everything's perfect, and they speak eloquently. Okay. And then you have the um, the poor man who's, well, we were just kind of discussing it, someone with maybe extra wisdom with, with creator, and they're just ignored because they're a pauper. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard. The words of the wise men are heard and quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroyeth much good. Okay, so when people say that God loves war and he loves destruction, what did that just say? Wisdom is better than weapons of war. But one sinner destroyeth much good. We would look at Joshua, but um, I don't know how that. I think because the old way, our politics are so all over the place now. I don't, I don't think most people even know what they are anymore. I was really feeling secure and resting in the libertarian position some time back. But then when I went on the march in Washington, D.C., and I was technically with predominant uh, Democrats, this was during Trump's uh, time, is um, they were like really concerned that I was libertarian. They were making it seem like that even, and I said, I don't really like to use the label because I said, I actually do have more liberal, some things I'm liberal with, some things I'm more conservative with. And to me, that is more libertarian. But um, uh, the, the, what I had, I've talked about this before, what I had learned about libertarianism is it was um, based fully on not letting the government get too out of hand. And as far as I know, most of our forefathers were libertarian, but I could be wrong on that. Um, lots of words and distortions through history has also created this mess we're in. Is, um, none of us even know what is what, and certainly our youth and children aren't getting aren't getting uh, what they need. Wisdom's characteristics, and I wanted to do this, but we're already at 23 minutes and it could shut down. <clears throat> Chapter 10, dead flies cause the ointment of the apo apothecary to send forth a stinking savor, so doth a little folly him that is in reputation from wisdom and honor. Whoa. Like, I can understand if that was like, huh? Literal uh, flies of death, a gnat flying around in our face. And I'm not going to be distracted and start batting around. Two, uh, capital M, capital T. I've never seen that before in this. putrefy that's really that's a new one there I've never ever seen that in the um, in the column oh it's up there too it's probably right it's like gonna bite my nose and I'll feel dumb Matthew but why is it fully capitalized I don't know I have never seen that. I don't think I've ever seen that in another one of the other books, capital MT. All right, let's not get stumped up. 
So unfortunately, I can't tell you exactly, but this doesn't sound good. Dead flies cause the ointment of the apothecary to send forth a stinking... Isn't it so funny? I said that again. And then the gnats. Okay. And then that's just not even funny. All right. Apothecary to send forth a stinking savor, so doth a little folly him that is in reputation for wisdom and honor. A wise man's heart is at his right hand. <laughs> now, see, he's asleep. That's crazy. Our messages aren't even coming through right. He had ones that, like, it wasn't even, it was, like, a day later or something. He's like, did you get those? I'm like, no. He's like, what are you talking? I'm like, I know. I'm not getting anything. Like, they come in a day later or more. All right. Enough is enough. Like, that's ridiculous. I don't have my, well, I got this. It's. What are you guys after up there? There ain't nothing. Oh, it's the bananas. I got those bananas in the fridge. This is just like a herbal retreatment. Poe's ear. I didn't get to watch my minister because Poe's ear got messed up. His hip thinks he's a doc. They think they're doctors to each other because they came from the same litter. Discussed this before. So if one has a wound or something, it's nearly impossible to keep the other one from trying to caretake the other one. And when you think about it, it's really adorable, but not with the fowl. And thank God I'm giving him diatomaceous clay. Everyone gets it. We all get it um, to keep stuff at bay. Um, but uh, actually, this company was really good. Now she's off track again. A wise man's heart is at his right hand, but a fool's heart is at his left. Yeah, also when he that is a fool walketh by the way, his wisdom fall, faileth him. And he said, saith to everyone that he is a fool. I'm really going deep there on that one, trying to think it out. I think it's mainly just braggarts. Like, I'm the wisest man of all. I'm the wisest woman to ever exist. That kind of thing. But I could be wrong there. If the spirit of the ruler rise up against thee, leave not thy place of, of uh, yielding. Pacifieth great offenses. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun as an heir which proceedeth from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. It's not, this isn't um, obviously shining very fondly upon the rich. This is good, but we got to go because I wanted to do some fun, more fun, but we're already at 20. I mean, not that this isn't fun. Okay, I guess it isn't. It didn't phase them. Oh, the geranium. None of this would technically phase them. I just was trying to get them out of my face. I think it was. Although I just recently started using this again. I got some horrible bites. Not in the house. It's a nice aged sun mark. I haven't been able to go out, guys. It's 90-some again today. I needed to cut grass. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. And I, I think because I pushed the limit so much this year, because I was just so excited to be able to be outside without these old evil men and women stalking me outside every day <clears throat> for seven years is... um. I just, I can't go out there and I don't want to every, it almost seems like hands down. If I'm mowing out front, she sends Al home or something. I mean, we're going to act like it's just coincidental. No, I'm sick of it. It's just the one guy. Thank God. But it's so weird. Like every time I'm mowing. So we finally did the post office box. Now they can just the postal service can go throw stuff there and be rude to us. I mean, they were so rude since we got it really, really, really rude. Just 
some of these weird like directives and stuff like I've never had. Um, always notoriously, um, if it was like return to sender, I've been doing return to senders since I was what living on my own. So if it was the wrong mail, I usually was renting early on. Um, it'd be like return to sender and you write it on there. It didn't matter how you wrote it. And so the postal service has left me like a bratty sticker about that. Then they were getting funny about the number on the box, but she had wrote like on a brand new box, real like messy. Uh, so there's a number on the front. And so then we get another thing warning, you better put the number on your box. Well, anyway, so I tell the, um, one of the workers at the smaller post office and I probably gave her a little more of an earful than I should have. But I said, you know, I didn't really think the, the po I didn't, I said, I knew it would, but I said, I didn't really think that the postal service harassment would go from the main branch down to this little one. Um, she acted like she was writing everything down, but mainly the letter that got through the mail that was more or less, you know, do it our way or maybe LaSalle Township isn't for you and you need to move with the fake township, um, like forged note with no return address and no names. So now we're getting everything at the post office. We should have did that anyways. And, um, then there doesn't need to be any mishaps because they were, people were stopping in front of the, the, our mail and stuff. I just like, as if they owned our mail, you know what I mean? Just opening the box and stuff. That was the old one. All right. Well, I'm going to get fired up here because I had to get some food and it's 31 minutes. So why don't you continue reading chapter 10 if you can read, or I'm sure you can even find something where it's being spoken. I had the badger and the bear, but I know that that's not uncommon. Dig in and see it through to completion. Perseverance, the badger. Don't give up so easily. You're going to have to be more patient and more persistent than you've ever been. The result or answer isn't that far away, but you've just got to go hang it. You've just got to hang in there and stay with it. Too often in the past, you've tended to either give up too easily or easily try shortcuts through relationships, career, and even your spiritual growth. It is important enough for you to ask the question. Then it's just as important that you remain steady in your pursuit of the answer. This would be, to me, it's more geared towards a younger person trying to find their way or someone that tends to run a little bit in a hurry. It doesn't matter if you've got a few inches or several miles to go. Take your time. No need to hurry and keep your sights on the objective. You'll have to put your feelings and any ambivalence aside for the time being. Indeed, you might even meet some resistance, but don't give up. You really are almost there, but before getting there, first live in the present. It's only from this moment that you can truly proceed on your journey to get wherever you're headed. So go, go, so go to it. Self-reliance, determination, assertiveness, and willingness. These, this is important in times like these because it's not maybe as often, and sometimes I get plagued with it other times more than others, is that there is enough momentum, hopefully not, not in a good way, if did I discuss this already, I think I erased that video that Maui, Maui, you guys, this is, this is, this is a, a horrible tragedy. Bear boundary, stand your ground for you to be your complete self, the self that the creator wants you to be and that, you know, in your heart of hearts is your destiny. You must not only define who you are, but also who you are not. It's only when you can see, say a clear no, that you can see a clear yes. And both are equally important in defining where your edges are setting your boundaries in this way increases your confidence and sense of autonomy and your choices become much clearer. This doesn't mean to always say no. It just means to be secure and knowing that you can, this is critical in accomplishing your mission. I've done the bear before. I love the bear, whatever that may be. And it's especially important related to your question. It's very tempting to succumb to others demands and the various distractions that tempt you as this often appears to be the easier route to take. Yet in your heart of hearts, you know that you need to establish these limits to stay on purpose. To stay on your purpose, stay on purpose, stay on your purpose. And remember, the only way that others can intimidate you is to deny your own power and operate out of fear. Come from strong love without malice or aggression. And let them see and feel your full presence. It will work every time. 
protection, creativity, solitude, and healing. Now, if you're a person that's going from, because there was times in my life I was coming from a very defeated stance or I didn't want to seem aggressive. I'd already been labeled, blah, blah, blah. No, it wasn't. It was just that I was contending with a lot more scary stuff than apparently anyone wanted to ever acknowledge. Um, not only with authorities, but employment problems, bosses, um, all you name it. And I don't mean like, Hey, you're not doing your job right. That was never an issue. I was, I, there was never a job performance issue. It was that, uh, well, more or less this ganging up and, um, and boss is inappropriate. Oh my God. I don't even want to make a list. Almost like a demand, like, well, you ain't going to go along with this. Good luck. You don't have a job. I mean, I was, I'm old enough. I was contending with that when I was young. Hope is not the conviction that something will turn out well, but the certainty, certainty that something makes sense regardless of how it turns out. Vaclav Havel, writer and statesman. Hope is not the conviction that something will turn out well, but the certainty that something makes sense regardless of how it turns out. I don't know if I've ever heard it that way, but like I may have it wrong, but like I'm technically supposed to have hope in God, that God has my best interest at heart and that I have to believe that that has to be my hope. Otherwise I had gotten this some time back. I guess it's still okay. It doesn't smell funny. What I liked about this company is the herbs are in it fragrance, but it's very, very light. It's very, very light. It's very pet friendly. It was manufactured in the USA, uh, deionized water, citrus oil, extra virgin olive oil, aloe vera, kajupot. I don't know. It's C A J U P U T. Bay. I like bay leaf. Aragorn. E R I G E R O N lavender, Roman chamomile, Egyptian geranium, symphytum, calendula, hypercum, urtica, and arnica. It was when Holmes and Pella were just getting, I mean, they, those poor things. I just, but you know, I still do see them sometimes. It's just something to probably get by. I don't see them, see them. It's like, I, they were my most adored, uh, companion animals. I mean, uh, Holmes and Pella were my, they were my, um, they were my, they were my, like outside of God, but they were like my, they were like my service and I, they were my service companion animals by for sure, for sure. And, um, <clears throat> Love you, 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 